Number 37, letter A. What is the maximum velocity of an 85 kilogram person bouncing on a bathroom scale having a force constant of 1.5 times 10 to the 6 newtons per meter if the amplitude of the bounce is 0.2 centimeters? All right, so what did they tell us? Or what are they asking us, right? Both. So V max is what we're looking for, okay? They told us the mass is gonna be 85 kilograms. They also told us the force constant, K, is going to be 1.5 times 10 to the sixth. And they also told us the amplitude, right? Which I'm gonna label as capital A. And that is going to be 0 0.2 uh, centimeters, but so I'm gonna, gonna convert that right away. So it's 0 0.2 times 10 to the minus two, and that would be in terms of meters now. All right, so I'll just leave the little m. So the question is, what's the max velocity? So I know I have a formula for max velocity, right? That formula, it's over here, by the way, on the right-hand side. That formula is simply going to be that the maximum velocity will be equal to the square root of the force constant divided by the mass that is bouncing multiplied by, as they have it here, capital X, which is the maximum uh, displacement, which in other words is known as the amplitude. So I'm gonna just substitute A in there, all right? So V max will be equal to square root, we just plug it in, right? K was 1.5 times 10 to the sixth. The uh, mass here was 85 kilograms and the amplitude they told us was the 0.2 centimeters, but you know we need that in meters, so 0.2 times 10 to the minus two. And that's it. All right, so let's plug that into the calculator. So we're gonna have square root of 1.5 times 10 to the sixth divided by 85, get that answer, and then multiply that by 0.2 times 10 to the minus two. And we're gonna have a value of about 0 0.266 or so, 266 meters per second, all right? Now, let's take a look at letter B. What is the maximum energy stored in the spring? Hmm, maximum. Usually don't say that, right? So let's write out the formula. We know that potential spring energy, right, is going to be over here on the right-hand side. And it simply says that the potential energy that's inherent in the spring will be equal to one half multiplied by the force constant multiplied by the displacement uh, squared. So that's good. However, they're asking us to calculate maximum energy, right? So this, I can I can say that the potential energy in the spring, I'm gonna put a little max here. And then what I would do is put a little max as a subscript for X, right? So I have to think of the maximum displacement. All right, now guess what the maximum displacement is for this part of the problem or basically a simple harmonic motion in general, it's the amplitude, all right? So basically now what I can do is I can take potential energy of the spring max will be equal to then one half times the force constant, 1.5 times 10 to the sixth, multiplied by the maximum, right? Which is the amplitude, like I mentioned. So that's gonna be 0.2 times 10 to the minus two and that whole thing squared, all right? And let's calculate it. So there's gonna be 0.5 times 1.5 times 10 to the sixth, times then 0.2 times 10 to the minus two squared. And we get a value of three, right? Get a value of three. 3.00 joules, and that's the maximum, okay? The other way you could have done it would have been to realize that, well, if this is the maximum velocity, eventually that velocity is gonna get converted into spring potential energy, right? As the thing is bouncing up and down, right? Eventually at some point on this, uh, on this spring, the velocity will be zero, and therefore there is no kinetic energy. And where did that energy go though? If it's moving at some point, then it's not moving. Well, it went to potential energy. Potential energy of what? Potential energy of the spring that is. So basically you could have done this. You could have done kinetic energy max must be equal to potential energy of the spring max. Substituted your formulas and then found uh, the answer the same way. Try it for yourself, all right? So guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, help us out. We appreciate it very much and we'll see you soon. Take care.